Please. She's very special. Alex Sawyer was last seen early Sunday morning. Help me find her body immediately. Want to tell you where the body is? Yeah. Police now say they found a body. Killer inspired from a serial killer. When protector becomes predator. A heart-wrenching murder resulting into passing of a state law. Global true crime brings exclusive details in a true crime story. Oh, my Lord, here. Oh, here to die. I wish they had this piece of garbage the defendant sentenced to death for what he's done to my David. Same thing. Today, see your name. Kill the hearts, most broken hearts. Global True Crime brings exclusive details in a true crime story of young lady namely Kaylee Sawyer who fell victim of her one decision. Before starting the case, we would like to request you that do let us know in comments that as per your views, what was the actual mistake which Kaylee did resulting into her tragic murder and after her murder, resulted into passing of state law as well. Nestled in the scenic embrace of Bend, Oregon, Kaylee Sawyer blossomed amidst the Cascade Ranges splendor. Despite her parents' early separation, Kaylee radiated joy, her infectious smile and boundless enthusiasm captivating all who crossed her path. In the vibrant city of Bend, Kaylee thrived as a dental assistant, her gentle touch and genuine care earning her admiration from patients and colleagues alike. At 23, she shared a cozy home with her boyfriend, Cameron, their love a steadfast anchor in her life. It was the 23rd of July 2016, a Saturday. That night, 23-year-old Kaylee Sawyer went to downtown Bend. Bend is a small city on the Deschutes River, in Oregon, United States. It was her friend's bachelorette party and she had been looking forward to it. After midnight, she was ready to go home. She called her boyfriend Cameron Riemhofer. She lived with him on the college campus and he told her he would collect her and she waited for him with a few friends at a restaurant downtown. Cameron arrived shortly after the call. On the way back home, they got into an argument and when they arrived at their apartment complex, Kaylee stayed in the car while her boyfriend went inside. He waited for 10 minutes inside the apartment. There was no sign of Kaylee so he went to the car to tell her to come inside. But when he got to the car, Kaylee was gone. This was the first and last mistake which Kaylee did, going alone in the dark at night. He called her and texted a few times and tried to persuade her to come home but she refused. He did not know where she was. She turned off her phone. Kaylee worked with the Aubrey Dental Group as a dental assistant and was due work the next day. When she didn't arrive at work, her mother and Cameron were worried. Cameron reported her missing to the police. Hi. Um, I'm not sure if this is quite the right number to call. Last night I got home from the bars with my girlfriend. She got upset at me and ran off. And I chased her and wasn't able to find her, and I still haven't heard from her. Her phone's off. I called all her family and they haven't heard from her, so I'm wondering what recommend I do. We put in a call. We can uh, have office in Tiffany. Okay. Where was she last seen at? Um, College Way. In that ap apartment complex? Yes. In a specific apartment? or In the parking lot. Uh, it was like 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, she was mad at me, so I walked inside and told her to come meet me, and then when she's like, calm down. And then I went back out in 10 minutes, and she was gone. And I called her a few times, and she said she was walking down the street, and then I guess she said her phone was about to die, and then she, I couldn't get a hold of her after that. I haven't heard from her since. Okay. All right, we'll uh, have an officer get in contact with you. If she gets in contact with you, they'll give us a call back. Okay, we'll right. do. Thank you. Visual missing person case has hundreds of Central Oregonians concerned and on the lookout. Alex Sawyer was last seen early Sunday morning near her West Bend apartment parking lot. She has four, four younger brothers who desperately want their big sister home and we just contacted everybody and said please get her face out there on the monday morning the 25th of july isabel ponslara a new bend police officer went to the redmond police department it was around noon she made a report to police that that morning her husband edwin lara confessed that he had killed a woman this whole time up to when you're going to the movie <laughs> Anything stand out to you? You know what, I just thought about right now. He had the windows cracked open and he never did that. Okay. And I asked him about that and he said, oh, it's hot. Edwin was a security guard at the Central Oregon Community College. He drove a security patrol vehicle during work. According to Isabel, 
She texted Edwin on the Saturday night she went to bed after that text and was not awake when he got home at some point after that. He was beside her in bed when she woke up the next morning. They to church as they normally would on a Sunday morning and she observed that Edwin was quiet that morning but she didn't want to cause an argument by asking him too many questions. It was only the next morning, the Monday morning, that she found out the dreadful truth. He told her that he killed a woman but claimed it was an accident. Edwin said that he struck the woman with his car and as she was dead he hid her body. Edwin told her he had to leave and said that the woman's belongings were in their shed in the garden. He left the house with Isabel's weapon and drove off in his car. The police followed up on Edwin's claims and searched the couple's property. They discovered a trash bag of female belongings in Laura's shed, just as he had told Isabel. These included a green purse soaked in blood containing an ID card belonging to none other than the missing woman Kaylee Sawyer, along with her car keys, shoes, and perfume. They also found bloodied clumps of blonde hair and a rock stained with blood. And the evidence found from the shed clearly suggested that Kaylee was never hit with the car. The disappearance of Kaylee Sawyer had suddenly become a murder inquiry. The main suspect was nowhere to be found. Edwin parked his car outside of a Ross dress for less store. It was there that he had seen 19-year-old Andrea Elizabeth Mice. Andrea had been sitting in her car in the car park alone and uploading a picture of herself to her social media account when Edwin had gotten into the car beside her, on the passenger door side. With his gun pointed directly at her, he had shouted at her and told her to drive. While driving the car he recorded his own video message and uploaded it. Hi everybody, um, I just want to say that I apologize for everything I've done. Most likely I'm going to get caught. I'm sorry about that girl. My bad girl in Central Oregon. And I just want to let family members, uh, Andrea, that she's fine and she will be fine because uh, so far she's been doing what I've been going to do. You know, and, and if you guys are wondering if I have done dirty things to her, no. All right, I'm not that kind of guy. You know, I just. I used to kill that other girl, you know, and I regret it. You know, she kept screaming and I had to stop her forever. So, you know, like I say, she's still fine. We're driving and she'll be home pretty soon. I'm sorry to her grandma and her family members, to her boyfriend. You know, I'm sorry for everything that I caused. Okay, and. You'll see her pretty soon, okay? Tell the cops that not to shoot us, because if they shoot us, then that's not my fault. Okay, so. Sorry, everybody. Bye. Having ended the call speeding at 100 miles per hour on the interstate highways, it was at this point that Lara called 911 to turn himself in. The operator convinced him that the police would not hurt him so he stopped his car and at 7 a.m. Tell them to make sure that the officer... Hey, who are you? Tell him I can't. He, can't, he said he can't hear him. Do I get out or do I... <laughs> Tell him we're letting the officer know that he can't hear he, he's already walking towards them. He's walking towards them. Tell him to make sure he holds his hands up. Yeah, he is. He is. Tell him to turn around and don't, don't walk towards them. He can walk backwards towards them. I can't. He's too far. Okay. And if you want to do the same, once he gets out and stuff, just uh -huh. turn around and back up. Walk backwards towards them. Don't walk facing them. Okay. Do I stay on the line with you? I'll, once you get out, I'll... On July 26, he was taken into custody after a terrifying crime spree across two states. I'm right now. Put the cuffs on him? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to hang up and just get out and you walk backwards towards him with your hands up, okay? Okay. Okay, Andrea, it's going to be okay. Now that Lara was in custody, the police's first priority was to find out where Kaylee was and what exactly had happened to her. The reason why I'm asking you that is uh, I've done this a bunch of times. I want to tell you where the body is. Yeah, I do. But I want to get on first. Okay. 
So here's what I know about this. Hear me out, sir. Uh, we can't change what happened, the three of us in this room. And people will care more about what happens right now than what happened before. So um, we know that you've been talking to some people, et cetera, et cetera, right? And because we have different jurisdictions, I can assure you that right now the DA's office is working on allowing us to take you back to Oregon, okay? But they're still working on that, okay? So in the meantime, uh, we need to consider some things, okay? If this information gets to other people that uh, you were like, hell yeah, I'm gonna tell you, but only until I get what I want, they might uh, try to think of this about something different than what it is. But I don't think you're a bad guy, right? I think that things have spun completely out of control, sir. Sir, am I right? Okay, but that being said, you know from your training and your education that we have a massive load of resources right now dedicated to one thing, and that's to serve the victim's family, okay? And they need that, and they need that right now. And so I need you to remember that it doesn't matter so much about what happened as what you do now. Yeah. And, and you know this, man. Okay. Not he indicated the location on a map police sped toward the scene and on July 26, two days after she went missing, the body of Kaylee Sawyer was discovered beside a highway in Oregon. A tragic update to bring to you tonight in the disappearance of Bend resident Kaylee Sawyer. Police now say they found a body and they believe that to be Sawyer's body. Now, Edwin Lara has been arrested yesterday in connection with this. Edwin Lara is a 31-year-old Redmond resident currently employed at COCC, working as a part-time campus public safety officer. We've recently learned that Laura's wife, Isabel Pons Lara, as I mentioned, is a Bend police officer who yesterday morning reported her husband's potential involvement in this. At the medical examiner's office, it was determined she had been killed by blunt force trauma. From the car, police discovered two notes in chilling handwriting. Laura had described where he had killed her. In another note that read as I'm sorry for taking her life. To her dad, I'm sorry. To her mom I'm sorry it was an accident she screamed and I had to silence her my intention was not. Forever to my wife I'm sorry I will forever love you. In the early hours of July 24 Kaylee Sawyer had walked away from the apartment she shared with her boyfriend. There came upon Lara's campus security SUV labeled for public safety. In a peaceful town like Ben she would not have felt afraid getting into the car. It's unknown why but she did that and it was the last tragic decision she would ever make. Inside Lara propositioned her offering her money and when she refused, he took her purse and phone. The car was the only car in the campus security fleet to be equipped with an interior cage like a police car. Lara choked her into unconsciousness before driving her to one of the dark less traveled back roads he was familiar with from his work. When she woke up again and tried desperately to attract attention screaming and shouting there was no one around to hear her. Still Lara choked her out again to silence her then he smashed a rock into her head and assaulted her believing she was dead he hit her again and again. Kale Sawyer had been robbed of her life by a man who had given into his most evil impulses all that remained was to get justice or her murder. Kale's father addressed the court on the day of sentencing. In January 2018, Edwin Lara pled guilty to aggravated murder and grand robbery and... Number one, to have our Kaylee back with us, alive and well, and pursuing her life. Number two, I wish to have this piece of garbage, the defendant, sentenced to death for what he's done to my Kaylee. And number three, I wish the court system and the state of Oregon would just hand him over to me and allow me to administer the death sentence. Was sentenced to life without parole. Upon hearing the sentence, Laura spoke to the Callier's family, but as he started, her family left the courtroom. I see him today. I see your name. I don't have much, much to say to you at this moment. I'll get a single prayer. It's not the only way I can speak to whoever's willing to listen. Have a mighty word, Ted. 
Oh, no, he was denied. I'll ask you to please heal the hearts, all those broken hearts of this community. In 2019, he was handed a second life sentence for the kidnapping and carjacking of Andrea May. In 2019, the Oregon legislature passed Kale's Law. This law campaigned for by Kale's family and was intended to ensure such a horrible fate could never befall another young person trusting that campus security would keep them safe. Her screen, child. And she's very special. Respected viewers, thank you for watching. If you found this content intriguing, please consider liking the video. It greatly supports me within the algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe for more global true crime stories.